policy? I think that one does have to study a bit more uh, Chinese history and world history for that matter. I think, if anything, compared to all the great powers that have risen, China's rise is really quite relatively peaceful. Um, in respect to uh, the history, China sets a tributary relationship with the neighbors uh, in, uh, in you know, exchange for security uh, or protection, uh, a submission of that kind of relationships. It didn't go around and conquer and colonize everybody, um, uh, unlike others. So, um, but today, if I may say, um, China's not trying to export values. It's not trying to export moral universalism. It's not trying really to export development model because in fact, it says this development model doesn't suit most other countries. It never said this, you guys should take up and emulate this kind of development model. In thinking about a Chinese global leadership, it emphasizes on allowing for differences, because when you impose convergence of values, of systems, that creates problems, and we have seen much of that. Now, that doesn't mean that it should countenance every kind of regime, every kind of situation. That is not the case. But it does allow for religious differences and different kind of ideologies, because ideolo ideology is to be ideologically free.